Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Teddy B's September pre-order haul. Behind the camera today because Rip is <laughs> needy <laughs> to say the least. So doing a lot of starting and stopping. So I thought it's easier just to do this today. Also her wax is so pretty. I'd rather you guys see it up close if you could. This is quite a haul. I've got loaves, tubs, souffles, samples, um, an epic, epic pre-order. Teddy Bees is my favorite vendor. And so I really, <laughs> I could be better. I really could, but I, I don't hold back normally. Um, let's start with our samples. I got two samples from this order, which was so generous. And both of these samples are things that I didn't purchase in this order. And I think that's amazing that she took the time to really pay attention to what I had purchased to see if I had these in my order or not. So I love that. Samples are always very appreciated. This one's Morning Cup of Christmas. Did not get this one in this order, but I do have this one from last year. It's okay. It is like a, um, a spicy chai tea. It's like apples, chai tea, and spices. It's a great Christmas scent, but the spices are a little heavy for me. So I think I'll melt what I have and enjoy it. Um, so I'll just throw this in with the tub that I currently have. So morning cup of Christmas. And then I've got Nutcracker Sweet. Never tried this one before. This is like a... Uh, gingerbread praline cake. That's what I get from this. I get like a gingerbread note. I get a cakey note and I get kind of a nutty pecan or praline type set. Yeah, this is good. I'll melt this with some other bakery scent here at some point. So that is Nutcracker Sweet. Let's do tubs next. So the tubs that I got, I only got four of them. They're the scents that I knew that I wanted like more of a souffle. Maybe the scent notes really seemed up my alley. Um, the souffles are more like I wanted just to try the scent or I felt like a small amount would be good. And loaves are like top tier favorite scents. So I've got four, four tubs. Most of my order is um, souffles. So the first tub is Salty Lavender. This one is a repurchase. This is one of Natalie's favorite Teddy B scents. Sweet Lavender, Salty Sea Air, and Toasted Marshmallow. Tiffany has a really wonderful lavender. To me, honestly though, her lavender is more herbal than sweet. I don't know, it's just, maybe that's just me, but I get a very herbal lavender with a Salty Sea Air. A great bedtime scent. Yeah, really, really pretty. I almost, I almost think I had this in a loaf. No, I didn't. I had Tiff's favorite lavender in a loaf. So I must have had this in a tub or a souffle before, but it's been years since I've had it. Really, really pretty. If you like lavender, and that's just such a beautiful scent. Next is Jack's. Wet autumn leaves, moss-covered oak trees, cedarwood, hinoki smoke lingering off in the distance. This is one that I got a tub of because of the scent notes. They just scream my name, those earthy notes, the wet autumn leaves, the moss, the trees. I thought that sounded so good. This one's a little messy because I've popped it out of the <laughs> container already because I wanted to smell the bottom of it, but how pretty. This one, I really kind of get that smoky scent on top. Let me see if I can pop it out again. Semi, semi nicely here. But on the bottom, I definitely get more of that moss, that like petrichor wet leaf scent. The smoke in this to me is incense-y. It's not super bonfire smoke. 
and the smoke is there for sure. I mean, I can smell it, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like the North. Have you ever had the North from her or anything like that? Yeah, it is just a nice earthy scent with that kind of incense-y smoke. Next tub is a many times over repurchase, and that is Christmas Trees and Cream, Fresh Pine, Vanilla Waffle Cone, and Rich Buttercream. This is just the most beautiful tree and bakery scent ever. The pine is so good. This one, I really get the waffle cone. The buttercream, the waffle cone, it just blends so nice with the pine. I love this one. This is one of her top sellers. And I think it was the top seller of this pre-order, if I remember right. I mean, it is just that amazing. Yeah, I love this. I've got more of this in my collection right now. So that is Christmas trees and cream. And then my last tub, and I'm gonna pull things to, um, to the side, like my standout favorites to show you at the end, what are like just my standout best of the best from the order. Okay, my last tub is Catacomb of the Witch. This is Dark Plums, Rich Vanilla, Black Amber, Bonfire Bliss, and Vanilla Woods. Mm, this is similar-ish to like Emma of Normandy, and not that they're the same scent, but kind of that plum, berry, perfumey type scent. This is really, really nice. And you get the amber. I feel like you also get a hint of the Bonfire Bliss or just like a touch of smokiness. Well, you get the plums, you get the amber. It's perfume-like. See if I can pop this out, I don't know. Oh, maybe, can I? Yeah. Yeah, again, on the bottom, I really just get that amber and the plum. Really pretty scent. This will be great for the bedrooms, I think. So that one is, Catacomb of the Witch, and that is my last tub. I guess we can start on the souffles because the souffles are like taking over the stressor right here. So start with this pile. This is Mr. Claus. I was really excited about this one um, because people raved about this on the Facebook page. This is Cranberry Woods, the Bath and Body Works type. Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies and Palo Santo. I mean, what's not to like? I love Palo Santo. I love the, you know, sugar cookie bakery. And then Cranberry Woods. Yum. Here's what this one looks like. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And this is... <laughs> wow. You get... The Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies, the Cranberry Woods, and then just like a hint of the Palo Santo. Wow, is this good. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can see why everybody likes this. And I want to say this kind of smells familiar to me, but I guess it's probably just the Cranberry Woods. But mixed with the sugar cookie. Oh, and the Apollo. Wow. This one is a real winner, you guys. I am really happy with this. Sad. All these Christmas ones, which there's a lot of Christmassy blends in this order, are going to wait till next Christmas. So that's going to be really hard, but that's okay. This will be perfect for next Christmas. It is so good. So that one was Mr. Claus. All right, next 
is the Perfect Storm. This is one I've heard people talk a lot about. Sea Spray, Ocean Water, Citrus, Damp Leaves, Dark Amber, and Oak Moss. It was like 50-50 on this one. Not a huge, like fresh scented fan, but I like a lot of these other notes, like the amber, the oak moss, the damp leaves. So wanted to see how it goes. That's what this one looks like. Really pretty. This is nice. It's definitely fresh, clean. It's a little cologne -y to me. I guess because of the amber and the oak moss. I definitely get those two notes. I get a little bit of that damp leaves, petrichor-ish scent. Yeah, this is good. Not one I think I need to get more of. Um, I think the souffle is enough, but it's a, it's a pretty scent if you like fresh scents. So that's the perfect storm. Brown to butter and praline, a blend of praline candy, vanilla cream, toasted pecans, melted butter, and the slightest warmth, warmth of cinnamon in the background. So this was offered in her last RTS and it jumped to my cart. So I definitely wanted to pick it up during this pre-order to give it a try. It's supposed to be reminiscent of a Bath & Body Works scent from years ago, a fall scent um, that I really enjoyed and so... I was excited to smell this one. Really pretty light green color. And to be honest, I don't really care for this. It's very, how do I describe this? It smells like soap. It smells like laundry detergent. It smells like soap. But I've seen other people say the same thing about this one and post it on her Facebook you know, page. And Tiffany said, no, it's the correct blend. It really changes when you warm it. So we'll have to see how this one does on warm. Cause right now I'm not feeling it. It's very soapy smelling to me. Like I never, I would have thought this was a mist pour. Smells like a ivory soap laundry, but she said it's that pear, the pear note in it. Um, kind of gives it that vibe but it changes on warm, she says. So I trust her. There have been many Teddy B scents that once I warm them, I fall in love with them. So I'm sure this one's gonna be no different, but at the moment, this is not my favorite one, but that is brown butter and praline. Next is cookies for Santa. This is a blend of frosted sugar cookies and milk and cookies. So I'll save this one for next Christmas. Really creamy, white, ivory color with the glitter. And that's exactly what this is. It literally smells like a crunchy cookie, like a crunchy vanilla cookie with a glass of milk. You definitely get the creaminess of the milk. This is one that I will let sit for a year for sure. I mean, I was gonna let it sit for a year anyway and melt it next holiday season but these types of scents from her I really feel like you have to let sit the milk and cookies the straight up bakery the vanilla blends they do better if you let them sit so I encourage you if you're new to Teddy B's I mean everybody has different performance in their homes with their warmers and their spaces obviously I would let blends like this sit from her um, at least for a bit this is good a very crunchy vanilla cookie with a glass of like ice cold milk. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. So that one is Cookies for Santa. Wish a Witch Woods. I love this name. This is Fireside Marshmallows, Buttery Sugar Cookies, Bonfire Embers, and Palo Santo. Everything about that sounded amazing. I love Palo. I love anything smoky, fireside, toasted marshmallow, plus just adding the sugar cookies in. So pretty. This one is really good. This reminds me a lot of Bonfire Nights. 
Um, sorry if you can hear Rip, he's got a bone uh, that he's chewing on. This is so creamy. So you get the fireside marshmallow, you get that bonfire embers, and you get the sugar cookie. It's very sweet, it's very creamy. It's like a really creamed up version of marshmallow fireside. This is really, really pretty, oh my gosh. Yeah, if you like those marshmallow fireside smoky bonfire scents, you should try to get this on the RTS. Wish a witch woods. <laughs> that is a tongue twister. Shadowlands. Okay, this is one I was really intrigued by. A lot of people seem to really like this one, and the notes are very interesting. So this says, earthy notes of dried pompous grass, pottery tonga bean, soft musk with hints of white currant. I'm not sure about like the pompous grass and all of that, but I like earthy scents, but I don't tend to like a ton of super fresh and clean scents, which is interesting because I really love the earthy, but I guess I love the deeper earthy. So let's see. This one is really, really good. Like, I don't think I need to get any more of it, but you definitely get the pompous grass or like the musk too. You get a hint of that white currant. It's slightly floral, but it's fresh. It's like a fresh floral scent with that musk. You definitely get that tonka bean, that musk. It kind of just helps I don't know, mellow it out a little bit. Gives it gives it some dimension, I guess. It's perfumey, so it's almost like you're walking through pompous grass or that type of earthy atmosphere and you've got perfume on or something. Yeah, this is really unique. If you'd like fresh scents, try this one. The musk, I think, really helps this one for me. So I like this. I don't think I need to get more of it, but this is a really unique scent. Tiffany is just such a master blender. She does things so well and notes that you never think would make sense or go nicely together. They're just perfect. Country Christmas. This is balsam fir, butter cookies, sweet spruce with a hint of cinnamon and clove. I love the tree notes. The cinnamon and clove kind of made me nervous, but I love all the tree scents. These are popping right out of the tins. I can smell this one from here. This is really nice. This smells like you're at grandma's house. She's got her Christmas tree up and you guys baked like a cinnamon like spicy cinnamon sugar cookie or something. Like the house is filled with that spicy cinnamon and sugar cookie scent. This is really, really good. This is really good. This is so cozy. This is so Christmassy. This is so inviting. This is just what you want your house to smell like on Christmas. That cozy cinnamon and sugar cookie. And that stands out more than the tree. You definitely get the fir and the spruce. There's a hint of tree, but it's mainly to me the butter cookie, the cinnamon and clove, the sweet cookie. It almost gives me a little bit of a, um, a gingerbread type of scent. Yeah, I really like this one. And I'm glad because I was a little nervous about the, the spice and everything, but that one's really good. So that one is Country Christmas. Strawberry Trees and Cream. So this is Christmas Trees and Cream plus the Strawberry Pound Cake, the Bath and Body Works type. I absolutely had to get this because I love Christmas Trees and Cream, as you guys have seen. Um, I did a Teddy Bees collection not terribly long ago. I'll link that above if you want to check it out. But I have many blends with Christmas Trees and Cream. <laughs> so when I saw this one, I knew I had to get this one too especially since it's a strawberry pound cake, like that is just perfect. And there's that one. I 
This one is good, but I don't get at the moment a ton of the strawberry. I really am picking up on the Christmas trees and cream. Maybe I get a hint of that strawberry pound cake, but it's not very strong. The Christmas trees and cream definitely is the more powerful one in this blend. But these are also, you know, freshly poured. Like this one was only poured not even a month ago. And I do think her wax um, really benefits from a lengthy cure time. So we'll see how this one changes as it cures here. But right now I get a, just a touch of that strawberry and mainly the strawberry trees and cream. I mean, I'm not mad at it because I love Christmas trees and cream, but hopefully the strawberry one does come out, you know, a little bit more. So that's strawberry plus trees and cream. Blueberry dump cake. This is fresh blueberries, crispy cake topping, hints of warm spice and vanilla. Okay, <laughs> this one was a last minute throw on the order for me. And I'm so silly. I don't like blueberry, <laughs> like really too much at all. But I got Witches Be Crazy plus blueberry a couple of years back. And I loved that scent. That was such a good version of blueberry. And so I've only tried that one scent from her, but I knew that I enjoyed Tiffany's blueberry. And so I thought, what the heck, let's change it up let's give it a try and this one is just so pretty so fresh blueberries crispy cake topping hints of warm spice and vanilla this is really this is really good I mean it's definitely blueberry but you get that bakery like you really get the cake the warm spice the vanilla it really smells like a blueberry cake Wow, or like a blueberry pie or something. I like this so much more than I thought I was going to. Like I don't need to get any more of it, but this is a beautiful blueberry. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna save this for the summer. I think this is the perfect 4th of July, you know, ish scent, kind of right around that time. So I'm glad that I I mean, I went out of my comfort zone with some of these scents in general, but this one I really went out of my comfort zone for. So I'm glad I picked up that one. So that's blueberry dump cake. Pumpkin woods. This is pumpkin spice, sandalwood, patchouli, tobacco, palo santo, and winter woods. This one, again, was kind of one. So I made two orders. I made the one order of my first... <laughs> my first initial stuff, stuff that I really wanted. And then I did not think I was going to go back. And then one day I went back, I guess maybe the next day. And I placed an order of a bunch of souffle. So like the blueberry dump cake was on there. Um, this one was on there. Some of these that I wasn't so sure about, but I decided I wanted to try. So I threw them into my cart in the souffle form and a second order. So this was one of the second editions. Love this kind of peachy color. So pumpkin spice, sandalwood, patchouli, tobacco, palo santo, and cold winter woods. And this is good. This one you get a lot of the sandalwood. You get the cold winter woods as well and it really does smell kind of fresh or like there's a chill in the air a little bit. I really get the sandalwood and like a hint of something spicy so whether that's the patchouli or the tobacco I'm not sure. I don't get much pumpkin spice at all. It's a smoky kind of incense-y cologne -y scent with that cold winter woods. Not my favorite, but it's good. I wish the pumpkin would come out a little bit more, but again, it very well could on warm. So that is pumpkin woods. Cider cookies, apple apples, cake donuts, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. So just your basic apple cider set, but these are always fun for the fall, so. I thought that this would be good for, you know, next October. 
Yeah, and you really get the apple cider like donut. I get the spices and the sugar cookies. This is a very sweet scent. It's a very sweet cider. Yeah, I like this one. Nothing amazingly special about it, but just a good apple cider donut type scent. So that one is cider cookies. Would just be crazy for pistachio. Okay. She's got two Witches Be Crazy blends on this pre-order. Maybe I'll try to do the other one too, if I can find it relatively easy here. But of course, here it is. Yeah, of course I had to get both of them <laughs> because I love Witches Be Crazy and I think that these blends sounded nice. The pistachio I was a little bit concerned about because I thought pistachio is not always the strongest oil. And I kind of thought that the Witches Be Crazy part might take over the pistachio. Oh my gosh, th that is not the case. <laughs> I should tell you the scent notes. So Witches Be Crazy is the birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla, and then it's blended with pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake. This scent first, just look how pretty this wax is. You guys, this is so good. This is blended perfectly. You get that Witches Be Crazy and the pistachio. It just makes it like a, a pistachio cake or something. This is amazing. <laughs> It's really a good 50-50 mix. Oh my gosh. Like this is one I got to decide on if I want to try to get more in the RTS. It's just blended so nice. And I know people are going to ask about the pistachio and if it's cherry leaning. I feel like I am the worst at making that distinction. But I don't get any cherry from this. I get just that nutty pistachio and a lot of creaminess, the cake, the witches be crazy, the pumpkin pecan waffles. It's so sweet, but this is blended so perfectly. Oh my gosh. I love this one. And this one was the first one I pulled out of the box and smelled. And so when I smelled it and I loved this one so much, just right off the bat, I was like, okay, yeah, this is going to be this is going to be a good haul. So that's the Witches Be Crazy for Pistachio. There also was Witches Be Crazy for Eggnog. So this is, you know, all of those scents blended with vanilla eggnog and buttered rum eggnog. That's what this one looks like. So this is just Witches Be Crazy, but it's extra creamy, it's extra buttery, and it's got a spice note to it. Um, I feel like eggnog, it's very creamy, you know, but it does have a little bit of like a spice kick to the scent. And, that, and that's definitely what this one is here. An extra creamy, bakery heavy, which is be crazy. I like this one a lot because I really love Witches Be Crazy and what's not to love about adding <laughs> eggnog to it. But I like the pistachio one better. I don't know if it's because the pistachio seems more unique to me, but this is really good as well. Um, if you like eggnog and you like Witches Be Crazy, that one is really good as well. So those are the two Witches Be Crazy blends. Then we got Santa Claus is coming to town. The smell of fresh baked cookies, candy canes, and Christmas trees. Seen a lot of people on the site excited about this blend. Almost looks like a little Christmas tree there. This you get, is <laughs> exactly what you get. It really is like a third cookies, a third candy cane, a third Christmas tree. This is going to be really pretty right at the holiday season. I don't know if I find it to be anything amazing. So it's not something that I 
need more of, but the candy cane is definitely her crushed candy cane oil. You get the Christmas tree and the Christmas tree is that like Christmas trees and cream. Um, so it's almost to me like the Christmas trees and cream plus crushed candy cane with the addition of the fresh baked cookies. It's nice. Um, very peppermint tree heavy with the cookies, but you really get all of the scent notes in this one. So, I like it. Nothing super special, but it's a good, a good Christmas time scent. So I'll save this one for, for next Christmas, but that's Santa Claus is coming to town. Right. Christmas is coming. Warm gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar pastries, fluffy waffles covered in powdered sugar, hints of cedar, and Fraser fur. All right, gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar pastries, fluffy waffles, powdered sugar, cedar, Fraser fur. All right, the first thing I get is those cinnamon sugar pastries. It smells like cinnamon sugar donut from Bath and Body Works. Let me get the, see if I can pop it out of this tin semi nicely. Okay, on the bottom, I definitely get the spices, so more of the gingerbread cookies. I don't get any tree from this at all, um, like it says. Like it says here in Fraser Fur. To me, this is gingerbread cookies and cinnamon sugar donut from like Bath and Body Works. It's that bakery heavy mix. This smells like what you would melt on a day when you did Christmas baking. That type of really bakery heavy scent. That one is Christmas is coming. And then I was a a ding dong and I accidentally ordered two of these. So um, I've got two of Christmas past just because I made a mistake. So Christmas past is holiday cinnamon, fallen leaves, crisp apples, crushed pine needles with hints of sweet balsam. I love how like her labels match the wax and it matches the aesthetic of the scent. Just everything that Tiffany does is such a work of art in my opinion. So this one, I definitely get the apples, the pine and the leaves. There is a sweetness to this blend. So it says sweet balsam, maybe that's it or maybe it's just kind of the apples and cinnamon. This is like a tree outside with like fall leaves still on the ground, but you get the apples and the cinnamon too. This is a very cozy scent. A very cozy, like cold winter's day type scent. I like this. I mean, I'm not mad that I have two. I didn't need to get two, but it's okay. <laughs> this is really good. I enjoy that one. So that one is Christmas past. Old Country Store. This is sweet, per sweet peach preserves, hot apple pie, warm cinnamon, and a slight hint of pine. I've seen this one for a couple of years now. She's offered it a few times and I had never picked it up. So mm -hmm. it was one that I wanted to give a try. And this we really get that hot apple pie type scent with some spices. I don't get peach. Let me try to take it out. Maybe the bottom has the peach preserves. I, d I definitely get like a jam preserve type of scent on the bottom, but mainly it is like a cinnamon, spicy, like warm apple pie. Really good for this time of year, like right around Thanksgiving. So this one was old country store. 
bakery and lease. This is brown sugar, caramel, powdered sugar, bakery dough, sugared musk, and bottom notes of sweet woods. I feel like the la this was in the last pre-order. Am I remembering that right? And people will, were really excited about this one. This, this is almost perfumey to me, I guess with that musk and the sweet woods. Yeah, this definitely has a bit of a perfume scent to it. Honestly, that's what I get the most is that sugared musk and sweet woods. So maybe on warm, more of the bakery notes will come out. But yeah, this is kind of a perfumey scent to me, honestly. Like a perfumey vanilla scent. That one is Bakery in Lease, I think is how it's to be pronounced. Okay. Praline plus Woods. Toasted pecans, praline candy, spiced white cake blended with soft woods. Why I got this one, I can never tell you. Because I don't love like pecans, pralines, like nuts a ton in wax. Some of them I, I do like, but they're not my top favorite type, type of a set note. This one, you definitely get that like praline, toasted pecan, praline scent. And you get the spices from that white cake. So it's spiced white cake. Definitely get the spices. Maybe like a hint of a cake. This is a nice bakery if you like pecans and stuff like that. This kind of smells like, you know, around this time of year or at like carnivals and fairs and stuff like that. They have those sugary pecans. It's like brown sugar and cinnamon or cinnamon sugar or I'm not sure exactly how they make them. But those sweet pecans, that's kind of what this smells like to me. Like if you were in the kitchen making those pecans, this is what your kitchen would smell like. It smells good. Nice, nutty bakery scent. So that was praline plus woods. Carter. This is Smoky Woods, Campfire Marshmallows, White Birch, Palo Santo, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. <laughs> this one, you guys. This is so good. Oh, I'm trying to decide if I want more of this one. You really get, you get the birch. And you get this so creamy marshmallow. You get the smokiness. It's just the creamiest toasted marshmallow with the tree birch. Gosh, this is so good. This reminds me of Winterfell. Actually, I have Winterfell. Let me grab that. All right, I've got my tub of Winterfell. It's got the wrong notes on it, though, so I can't compare it note wise but I want to say they're similar note wise too let me see yeah yeah these are very similar Winterfell has a touch of mint or something to it there's something a little bit brighter and crisper about Winterfell it's like a hint of mint but really very very similar scent notes Carter is more of the, the marshmallow with the perch, the birch and the palo, not as like cold air. Winterfell really gives you that cold air feel. Both of them are amazing. I've had so many tubs of Winterfell. I'm actually kind of surprised Winterfell wasn't offered in this pre-order because it's a, it's a popular one for sure. Um, but Carter is very similar. So if you like Winterfell, and you want to get your hands on more of it. This is not exactly the same, but you definitely would like Carter. Yeah, this is really good. 
Okay, a repurchase. Bonfire Nights. This is Bonfire's Cashmere Vanilla Sandalwood and Roasted Marshmallow. This is a beautiful scent for your bedroom. It's that musky toasted marshmallow type scent. This is a little bit on the lighter side for me, at least the one that I've had. So I would not put this in my open concept, but in the bedroom, in the evening, this is just beautiful. Her bonfire scent is so good because it's not like smoky in your face. It's so much creamier and sweeter. And like with the cashmere, the vanilla, the sandalwood in this blend, it just makes it so pretty perfume-like um, and just perfect for the bedroom. A really good nighttime blend. It's soothing. Yeah, I'm so glad that I got more of this. That one's Bonfire Nights. <laughs> you guys, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six more souffles left. Then we got to get into loaves. So I hope that you were in for a long video. I guess I'm sure you were because you could see how long it is before you even click on it. All right, Spooky Encounters. Sandalwood, smoked oud, spiced cherry, black raspberry, hint of patchouli, and blackberry cotton candy. This one I was 50-50 on because of the spiced cherry and black raspberry. Neither of those scents are really in my wheelhouse. But the sandalwood, the oud, the patchouli, the blackberry cotton candy all is really up my alley. That is so pretty. Her wax is just stunning. So I wanted to give it a try. This is really nice. This is your deep berry scent. Gosh, how do you describe this? It's like deep berries, but you get the patchouli, the oud, it really, like the name Spooky Encounters really fits this well. It feels like a Halloween night, like an October evening. The black cherry in this, I can smell it, but it's blended so beautifully. And with the patchouli, oh my gosh, this is a winner. Wow. And you really get that blackberry cotton candy. It definitely sweetens it up a little bit. This is a stunning, stunning scent. Oh my gosh. If you guys got spooky encounters, let me know what you think of it. But that one is blended just so beautifully. All right. Harvest Cider Plus Birch. This is plum, dark cherries, vanilla, birch, peppered woods, and a warm pomegranate cider. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is sweet. This is, yeah, peppered woods I don't get. I really get the pomegranate cider. It's a fruity scent. Definitely a, a sweet fruity scent, but a good scent for the fall like, I bet this would be a great transitional from summer to fall, so like in September, when you still want the fruity scents, but you might be getting into more of the deeper berries, the plum, everything like that. Oh my gosh. This is good. I don't need more of it, but it's a really pretty pomegranate, plum, sweet scent. So that is Harvest Cider and Birch. All right, holiday. The scent of wreaths hanging, cookies baking, winter garland, and a warm fireplace. You guys, this one. Oh my gosh. This smells like um, Sassy Girl Aroma Christmas at Santa's. It, it smells exactly like it. 
where you get the cookies, the wreaths, that garland, it's kind of peppery. Oh my gosh, I love this one, but it does. It smells a lot like Sassy Girl Aroma Christmas at Santa's. And I couldn't place that for a minute. So when I first opened this box, I smelled it. And I was like, gosh, this smells familiar. This smells so good. What is this? I was kind of thinking since the name was Holiday that maybe it was a Bath and Body Works scent. But Charity in the live last night, um, or maybe it was before the live when we were just waiting in the, you know, in the studio before we went live, she was saying that this reminded her of a scent. Maybe it was when we were on live and like she knew what scent it was. And I was like, oh, I haven't figured it out yet. And now when I smell this, I think it's, it's Christmas at Santa's. So I'm gonna have to text her and be like, this is it, isn't it? Because it, that's exactly what this is. I love this, but I love Christmas at Santa's. So a very, very similar scent. Very, very, very pretty. So that is holiday. Next we have a oh, Christmas tree. This is balsam fir, frosted juniper, fresh sage, and whipped vanilla. Love the tree scent, so had to try this one. I really like the name of it too. That's what this one looks like. Oh yeah, this is so good. This is very similar to me to Pacific Northwest Winter. If you guys have had that, it's the same type of tree scent. Oh, I love this. This is so good. If you don't like tree, don't get this one. But it's that very fresh tree scent. Wow. I don't really get vanilla. And to be honest, I don't know what sage smells like. <laughs> I feel like I've had a lot of wax with sage in it at some, you know, at points throughout melting. But I just don't, I don't know. I couldn't pinpoint what sage exactly is. But this is a very fresh tree scent. And when I first smelled it, I thought of her other blend, Pacific Northwest Winter. So it's very similar to that, but I'm not mad at that at all. I think that, that it's such a good tree blend. Wow. If you like tree, if you like, like straight up tree, try Oh Christmas Tree. That one's really good. All right, gingerbread ice cream cake. This one I got on a whim. This is not totally my scent preference, but Charity has talked about this one in the past that she really likes it. And like I said, I made that second kind of random order, so I just threw it in. So this is sweet buttercream layer between warm white cake, vanilla ice cream, topped with loads of gingerbread crumbs. I don't have a ton of gingerbread stuff, so that will give it a try. Pretty orange color. This is very gingerbready. I don't get much of the vanilla at all. Yeah, not even on the bottom. Very gingerbread heavy. I'm hoping the cake, the vanilla ice cream, all that comes out more. But right now I'm really just getting the, the gingerbread. If it doesn't though, I've got plenty of plain vanilla scents I can always add to this if I melt it and I'm thinking it's a little too spicy for me. I'll blend it with something, but that is gingerbread ice cream cake. All right, and then the last souffle we have is Marax's. This is sweet plum, saffron, black peppercorn, cashmere cream, and sweet vanilla roasted pine cones. So I pulled out my bar of Scentsy Ghostly Greetings because when I smelled Maraxis. When I pulled it out of the box, the first thing I thought of was ghostly greetings. And so I pulled out my bar because I want to do a comparison and see if I am right or if they're not as similar as I thought. This is such a pretty blend. Oh my goodness. I love that color and like the rose gold and pink glitters. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm not going to say they're 100%. Let me see the bottom here. The Maraxis is a little more toned down. You kind of get the pine cone note. 
I think that is what's different. I think Meraxas has that hint of the pine cone in it. These are very, very similar though. I'll have to melt them in and compare them that way. But if they're not a 100% dupe, they're, which they're probably not. This one definitely has the pine cone in it that I can pick up, but they are very similar. And if you like ghost ingredients, I think you would like Meraxes or, you know, vice versa. I know a lot of people are not on the ghostly greetings train. I love ghostly greetings. I had it in my club for a while, but I took it out because I've got a bunch of bars of it. But this one is definitely a similar scent, in my opinion. So I really like this one, but I really enjoy ghostly greetings and, and this type of scent. That one is Meraxis. And that is all of the souffles. All right, so lastly, I have the loaves. The loaves are scents that I have tried in the past and I really love, so I wanted to stock up. I have three different scents here, I think six loaves total. So I picked up one loaf in Surfside Sweet Shop. This is just such an amazing scent. Birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats. Beach treats is her beach nights blend. This is just the creamiest beach nights ever. I love this one so, so much. I've gone through three or four loaves already of it. I have two loaves in my collection currently, but when she was offering it, I was like, well, I'm going to get another one because I need three loaves. If you guys know my <laughs> my three loaf strategy, it's a crazy strategy. But if I love a scent, and I know I love a scent, and she offers it, I buy three loaves of it. I know that I love this scent. I know I will go through it, and I don't know when she'll offer it again. Granted, Surfside Sweet Shop is one of her biggest sellers. She offers it quite a bit. So this is a blend I'm really not worried about getting more of. Um, or going long periods without it. But while it was there, I definitely wanted to get another one. So I got just one more loaf because I have two currently. So now I've got three loaves total of Surfside Sweet Shop. I got two loaves of Tiff's Favorite Bakery. So this is one that I've been waiting to come back for a while. And I only did two because it is a blackberry scent and I have two loaves of her blackberry butter pecan cookies right now too. So I thought that's four loaves of scents that are, they're, they're fairly similar. So I didn't want to get too burnt out on it. So I decided to go with two instead of three this time based on what I have in my collection. But this is blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone. Her blackberry is just the jammiest, sweetest blackberry ever. It is so good. And then mixed with the bakery notes, it's almost like you had a waffle cone, you've got ice cream, and it's just loaded with blackberry jam or something. That's what that smells like. It is amazing. And this has always been a great performer for me. So like I said, I just got two of them because I've got that blackberry butter pecan cookies. So similar type of scent. So I thought two would be plenty, but I'm glad to have more of that. And then lastly, I got three, you can see one, two, three of trickin' and treatin'. So I used my three loaf strategy on this baby, but this one hasn't been offered in a long time. And so when I got on the list, I was like, Yep, we're going to buy a bunch of it because this is such a pretty scent. This is purple sugar, which is pink and blue sugar combined, beach treats, and vanilla cake pops. This blend. I mean, I love her beach treats, so really anything blended with beach treats is something I enjoy. But you get the sweetness of the pink and blue sugar. And I can't sit here and pick out 
pink sugar or blue sugar. It's just the sweetness. I mean, you can tell it's sugar, but it doesn't lean feminine to me. It doesn't lean masculine. It's just a sweet sugary set. And you get the vanilla cake pops. A lot of people have said that this reminds them of the cake pops that you get from Starbucks. It's that just heavy white cake scent. Then you get the beach treats. So there's like the touch of saltiness to it. Oh my gosh, it is such a beautiful beach night blend with the vanilla cake pops and the sugar. I love it. I know a lot of you bought it based on my recommendations, so I hope you love it as much as I do. But if you like beach nights, if you like cake, <laughs> I can't imagine that you want it. So I got three of those. But that is my entire haul. I've been setting a couple of things to the side as I've been going to show you my like standout favorite kind of scents. Obviously the loaves are my favorites because they're scents that I know I love. So I'm not going to share those again, but I did pull some souffles um, that like were my standout favorite. So I was trying to pick a top five of like the new stuff and I just can't. So I have six blends here. I've got Carter, which is the Smoky Woods, Campfire Marshmallow, White Birch, Palo Santo, Icy Snow and Vanilla. Oh my God, that one was so good. Spooky Encounters, the Sandalwood Smoked Oud, Spiced Cherry, Black Raspberry, Hint of Patchouli, and Blackberry Cotton Candy. Just what a unique scent. That is amazing. Holiday, this is the scent of wreaths, hanging cookies, baking, winter garland, and a warm fireplace. This smells a lot like Sassy Girl Aromas, Christmas at Santa's. Witches Be Crazy for Pistachio. Birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake. What a dreamy blend. I was so surprised by that one. Country Christmas, balsam fir, butter cookie, sweet spruce, and a hint of cinnamon and clove. Like you're at grandma's house at Christmas time baking cookies. Amazing, cozy, cozy scent. And finally, Mr. Claus, Cranberry Woods, Beth and Body Works type, Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies, and Palo Santo. All right, those are my like standout favorites. And that is it. That is the end of this lengthy haul. I really hope that you guys enjoy watching. You'll have to let me know what are your favorites. Did you get any of these? Or if you've done a haul video, I would love to watch it. They're slowly starting to trickle in. Um, I'm filming this. Sunday morning and Charity's haul is about to go live. So I'm going to get like a hot cup of coffee, I think, and sit down and watch Charity's Teddy B haul here when it premieres in a few minutes. But that's everything for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I will chat with you in my next one. Bye.